Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about the BCD to XS3 converter. The prerequisites of the video are basic knowledge of Boolean algebra, working of ICs and some knowledge of breadboard connections. The objective of this video is to let you know about the applications of basic BCD to XS3 converter and tell you how to design and implement a basic BCD to XS3 converter on a breadboard using ICs. The application of the basic BCD to XS3 converter are to express decimal numbers and to perform some arithmetic operation. We prefer to perform arithmetic operation on XS3 code as it is better than uh, BCD code because it represents decimal numbers easily. So let's go ahead and design our circuit. Here. As you can see, I have the BCD input as ABCD and XS3 output as WXYZ. As we all know that we only have 10 decimal digits naming 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means we will have 10 different outputs in XS3 code. But the total number of combination that ABCD can be are 16. That means we have 6 don't care condition. And what don't care actually means is we don't need to actually care about those conditions while designing the circuit. So 0 in BCD input should be converted to 3 in XS3 output. As you can see I have done exactly that and correspondingly I have made my truth table as 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 in XS3 output. Now let us just minimize the circuits for W, X, Y and Z using the K map. Here as you can see I have the K map of W. So let me get started with the minimizing the W circuit. So here as you can see we have an octet and let me mark that. And we have two quadruples here and one here. So the minimized expression for W is A plus BC plus BD. Now I have the K map of X and let me minimize it. So you can see we have two quadruples. and one triplet. Therefore, the minimum expression of x is b dash c plus b dash d plus b c dash d. And now for y, we have two quadruples and the minimum expression for y is cd plus c dash d dash and now for z we have a octet and the minimized expression for z is d dash now let's make the circuit of the obtained expressions on a breadboard so let's design our circuit we will take abcd as input and wxyz as our output and we will try to minimize our circuit as much possible as we can. So here is our circuit diagram and as you can see I have taken ABCD as input and WXYZ as our output and we have used 4 AND gates and 4 OR gates and 3 NOT gate. That means we will be using only 3 ICs and that would be 1 AND gate IC, 1 OR gate IC and 1 NOT gate IC. And that's the minimum circuit that we can make here. Let's implement our circuit that we just obtained on a breadboard. So the requirements for implementing our circuit are breadboard, three ICs, namely 7402, 7408, 7432, some wires, LEDs, resistors, 
and a DC power source. So this is the pin diagram of 7404 IC that is the not IC and this is the pin diagram of 7048 IC that is the AND IC and this is the pin diagram of 7432 IC that is the OR IC.